How's it going guys, like it's Bro here. Now today in this video, I'm just going to be talking about iOS 8. Now Apple recently just unveiled this overnight and they've kind of given away a few things. It's very much like iOS 7, just added some added extras. Now unfortunately for iPhone 4 users, they have stopped making this for iPhone 4. So if you have one, I do recommend you sell it now whilst it still has some value, but you won't be able to get iOS 8. So looking at the Apple homepage, they have... Uh, shown five iPhones laying across each other with um the new stuff. So going through the stuff first, um the first one is basically I've added a new health app which is much like S Health, so I'm guessing they're gonna call it iHealth for iPhones, kinda of like Samsung Galaxy S5 um heart rate monitor and stuff like that. I don't know how they're gonna incorporate that into the actual design of the phone but they have shown like calories burned and your sleeping hours and stuff like that. Secondly, they have added this thing here, which is basically like a quick reply text messaging service, I think. It does look very much like Uki the jailbreak quick tweak for iOS 7. I have done a video on that, so if you want to check that out, you can check out the comparison for yourself. As well as adding this um, recommended word thing, like, H like Android, sorry about that guys. And it's just going to kind of guess what um, word you want much like Android, so they kind of copied Android a lot here, but then again, that's what iPhone com that's what com phone companies do. So they have also added in the multitasking menu, you can select your contacts and stuff like that. So I'm guessing it's gonna be like the quick reply service over here, and um yeah. So in this one, in the middle one, they have talked about this, and you are able now to send your own voice in text messaging as well as what you're seeing right now. So if you basically were watching a soccer match and you just want to film a bit, you can just basically just film it straight away and send it straight like that. But you can already do that. You can send your videos and photos and stuff like that. But you haven't been able to send voice before, so that's an interesting feature. Scrolling down here, they have updated iCloud, so now it's just going to back up straight to your iPad from your iPhone, uh, vice versa. And yeah, so this is just talking about how it's going to let you send a video of what you are seeing, very much like Snapchat. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so going down, they're talking about our smartest keyboards ever. So it's just going to recognize um, whom you're typing to, and it's going to guess the kind of words that suit what you're talking to so say. So as you can see up the top. It says on my way and it has home to and back, so it's getting on my own way home, so it's kind of set up there, but you kind of get the general gist of it. Now I have also added this iCloud drive, so this looks really interesting. Um, you can back up anything on the cloud, obviously it has some PDFs here and stuff like that, which looks really cool. That's one of the main reasons I do want to update. You can update at the moment. I'll be making a separate video just like this on how to update, but yeah. This is talking about the health app here. So as you can see, it has calories burned and stuff like that. You're sleeping, so it's going to measure your average amount of sleep per night. But I don't know how, if they don't have like heart rate monitor or anything like that, but I guess they would have to. It's kind of a health app. Um, yeah. So here you're able to actually call from your Mac now. Now this is very interesting, I'd like to find out how they do this, um, probably be via an app or something like that, I don't really know at the moment, I haven't really much given much away. Yeah, they've updated the spotlight search as well, so you can now search for movies and restaurants and stuff in the spotlight search, which is kind of an extra added feature, <coughs> and yeah. So that's it guys, not very much, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing they've made a few major changes, just to compete with Samsung and stuff like that. Yeah, so as you can see, it shows the models that will be compatible with iOS 8, which is the iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5S, iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPad 2, surprisingly, iPad with Retina display, iPad Air, iPad Mini, and iPad Mini with Retina display. So there you go, guys. I'll be doing a video later on how to get this, but that's just the simplest way there. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy.